There was a moment that was sort of missed yesterday in some of these whacked out interviews that Donald Trump Jr. gave on the floor of the Republican National Convention. There was a moment where Don Jr. mentioned, you know, I'm not going to be conspiratorial, but something went wrong uh, in Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday with regard to someone being able to get onto a roof about 100 yards from his dad. Now, you really have to look at the totality of this clip, including the expression on Don Jr.'s face. But what he's alluding to here is some kind of inside job. Now, by whom isn't clear. We'll talk about that in a moment. But here's Don Jr. Having had it, having been in it, having been both my father as a president, as a candidate, you know, in my own details, someone to get out on an open roof within 130 yards. You know, I'm not going to be the guy to be conspiratorial, but something went wrong. Now, my view is that what went wrong is uh, a security failure. There was a security failure uh, in a number of different ways. I won't rehash all of it, but it involves individuals seeing the shooter climbing onto that roof, trying to alert law, law enforcement, reportedly one officer coming over, climbing up, seeing the shooter with the rifle and going back down. And then before anybody else is able to do anything about it, the shots ring out. There are reports that the snipers on the roof closer to Trump saw the shooter, but there was some kind of radio confusion or a hesitation to allow the shooter to be taken out. I'm not even speculating whether that should have been approved or not. I'm just telling you that's another aspect of this. The The real story here does not imply involvement by Joe Biden, as one member of Congress suggested. It doesn't imply an inside job by the FBI, DOJ, Democrats, uh, whoever else you want to fit into here. What this looks like is a single shooter that we now know to be a registered Republican, know to have been a registered Republican with unclear personal motives, whether they were political or personal. We just do not know. And some very specific security failures. And so is it irresponsible for Junior to imply something like this? Yeah, it's probably irresponsible to some degree. I, I would say so. Is it something that we know is on the minds of many? Yes, we do know. But what is particularly interesting about the kind of conspiracy ideas here is that they very much conflict because you have what and there's no evidence for any of what I'm about to say. But again, I streamed the RNC last night and I see these comments flowing by. On the one hand, you have the contingent that says this might have been staged by Trump. Sir, we're going to set up a shooter. They're going to graze your ear and then everybody will say, what a hero, Trump, make sure to pump your fist and then we'll take you out and all these things. It's going to be great. That th that's one set of conspiracy theory about what this is staged by Trump to help him. There's no evidence of that. Constitutionally, I struggle to believe Trump would would go with something that includes buzzing his ear, because as we all saw, if we're one inch off, Trump's dead. So there's no evidence of that. I struggle to believe that that would go on. On the other hand, there are those who say Biden would have staged this in order to get attention off of the debate performance. Now, again, no evidence for that either. The problem with the Biden motive to stage would be if you were are you arguing Biden staged it to graze Trump's ear or are you arguing that Biden staged it to kill Trump and it went wrong? And of course, there's rarely an answer there and there's no evidence for it one way or the other. So what Don Jr. is doing is probably irresponsible. Yes. But more importantly, as I talked about yesterday, if you want to play the motive game, you can find motive on both sides and motive alone does not a conspiracy make, as we have talked about many times before when taking apart conspiracy theories.